Toledo, Ohio, Annika Godbuski. So, I once went on a date with a guy who declined another because I was too curvy. We had lunch in Greektown one Sunday, and he was supposed to come down to Toledo the following weekend. So imagine my surprise when I got a phone call that Wednesday. What's something like this? Hey, so I know that I was supposed to come down to have sushi next week, but I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. That's cool. We can always reschedule. It's no problem. Well, here's the thing. You're really nice, and you're really worldly and intelligent, but you're just not like a lot of the girls that I date. You know, you're kind of... Curvy. Like, Dean, it's fine. You have a certain preference in clothes, you have a certain preference in cars, you have a certain preference in women. It's not like I'm going to go home and cry about it over a gallon of pocket does. I had surgery a little while ago, I gained some weight, you know, I'm working out. He goes, Oh, so are you going to keep working out? <laughs> yeah, Dean, I am sure that I will be Miss America by Christmas. <laughs> Awesome, so like, can I call you closer to that? Absolutely, you can definitely call me. I will not answer the phone, but you are more than welcome to call. Little did Dean know that I had such a bad eating disorder in high school that the doctors almost pulled me out of school and made me go live there if I would have lost another pound. I had a horribly mean drunk boyfriend who would call me cottage cheese thighs uh, every time he got mad. So yo-yo dieting and zero self-acceptance has always been present in some form or another for as long as I can remember. And then I had my picture taken. For the first time, I wanted to look at myself, like really look at myself, not through the eyes of some guy who's trying to get me to go home from the bar with him, not through the eyes of uh, you know someone whose job it is to be supportive, and not through the eyes of the dressing room lady at Macy's who's trying to meet her sales quota. I'm not really sure why I was drawn to my friend Lindsay other than the fact that you know we were friends and we'd been friends for a long time and she was always uplifting and awesome and great. So when she started her boudoir photography business and asked if I would long be a, a model for long hair, I said sure. I stripped down to my underwear, and this is like I'm the girl who never wears tank tops, and just recently owned a, like purchased my first pair of shorts, and I exposed every dimple and cankle and stretch mark and C-section scar and and everything. But when I saw those photos, I cried because for the first time in my life, I didn't see all those negative things. I saw me, and it's amazing how having an actual paper photo that you can hold in your hand of your beautiful self through the eyes of someone you trust can be life-changing and emotional and raw and regretful and calming and peaceful all at the same time. Um, and, you know, seeing those photos and just it, letting go of those insecurities helped me meet some amazing people and you know, when I saw my big butt and my cottage cheese thighs on the news later on that month, I thought to myself, hell yes, because those thighs walked me down the aisle to my amazing husband. And those thighs helped me chase our awesome four-year-old, and they've walked me through some amazing things to some amazing people, and they've helped me recognize some happenstance moments that can't be explained without talking about karma or, I don't even know, just fate. And it's helped me meet some amazing people in my career as a community marketer. And it's helped me tell the stories of all these people that their voices are never necessarily heard. So letting go of all of that baggage and all that crap or bullshit or whatever has helped me tell their stories. And, you know, those legs that I've hidden under Sphinx for so long have helped walk me through some amazing things and to some amazing people. And it helped me learn that when you're burned like that, build a fire. And every time I hold one of those 50 paper photos in my hands, I'm reminded of 50 more things to be thankful for, two of which are my cottage cheese thighs. So thank you. Woo! Woo!